Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Drew, and it is time for my Cowboy Logic segment. And I decided I was going to kind of do a series on preparing for crazy, okay? And what I mean by that is, you know, I'll, I'll never forget many, many years ago when my younger son started paying attention to the news and world affairs and politics and all that stuff, fresh out of college. And although they'd been around at some with me and at the dinner table, we'd talk about the pros and the cons and who does what, and who me, but folks, we were in, we were in pretty logical times in those days. Okay. When my kids were little. And so to go and say, somebody wants to, you know, give more to education or they want to build this and they want to do something for the arts or, you know, whatever it was, those were the conversations that we had. We didn't have the big battles that we do today. I was raised kind of through the 60s into the 70s when, although I was raised on a little farm south of San Antonio, it didn't affect us much directly. But I remember my older brother, he did, he quit eating at the dinner table when he turned 18. He thought he was going to get drafted to Vietnam. He was of that age. And so he'd sit in there and watch the news reports. And they're talking about the VC and how they're coming and doing stuff. But and, and, and even being raised in the schools that we were, where we were in the Cold War with Russia, and there was always the threat of a nuclear war. And so, you know, once every quarter for us, it was kind of fun when the schools would say, okay, we're going to do a drill and you're going to hear the siren go off and you're going to climb under your desk and we're going to, and all kind of, you know, it was just kind of fun. It wasn't really real to us, you know. Folks, this world's badass crazy. And how do you handle it? when everything around you is just crazy. And I'll tell you how you do it, okay? You tune it out. I am telling you, it's, and I don't mean you tune everything out. I do not watch television news, any channel, any. I pick and choose the sources that I have learned, that I verify, that I read, and I can tell that they're accurate in the reporting. I listen because everyone, I don't care who they are, Walter Cronkite was probably the last of them. Dan Rather wasn't even any good. He, he, his political views, you never heard them come through. Or his views on most any topic. You didn't hear it come through in the reporting of news. And that's what a that's what the news is supposed to do. They're supposed to go in and look at the facts, not pick and choose so they skew to how they believe and try to persuade you because if what you believe is that what they're reporting is real and we used to be able to believe that. Remember the Nicholas Sandman thing? So he was over there and what CNN and everybody else that is now paying him a bunch of money they no longer have, they were sitting there saying that he attacked that Native American and, and was making fun of him. But when the truth came out, instead of the videos that CNN chose to buy and show, when the truth came out and showed that actually the old Indian guy was the aggressor and came to this guy because he had a Make America Great Again hat on. And I have to tell you, although I think it's foolish and ridiculous, there's some new dancing thing that they're doing, some show. I just saw little pieces of it. They put on a costume and they sing and you have to try to guess who it is. And there's that goofy little Asian guy, and that isn't racist. The guy is an Asian. There's the goofy little Asian guy that gets up there, and when he found out it's Rudy Giuliani, he ran kicking and screaming like a monster was after him. He's a poor little baby. Give it a freaking break. You're supposed to be the policy of tolerance. You're supposed to love everyone and give them a chance. It's just the opposite, folks. So let me tell you something. You have to really be crazy. The best thing that you can do. Had a partner of ours come into town a couple of nights ago. A lot of you folks may or may not know, I, my wife and I live in a big old Class A motorhome. We live on the river here in Kerrville, and we have our own half acre out there, and I am telling you, it is God's country, man. It is beautiful. There's wildlife every day, blue herons and ingrates. There's deer coming through there and the animals that people have in there, the ducks that are flying over and squawking and my wife's cat and her flowers and all. Folks, that's where I get away. I go home, which I'm fixing to do here in a few minutes, and I'll grab me a beer or a glass of wine and I'll sit out on the deck. Yes, we built a deck on our motorhome. And folks, all the insanity, all the crazy of this world, it's gone. I don't hear it. Don't tune into it. My wife, literally, we used to watch news routinely because we really wanted to know what's going on in the world. And do you make a difference? What do you prepare for? Now we've had to filter it because there's very few real sources. And any of you people, and I don't care what your political persuasion is, but you'd think you'd want to know the truth. 
See, you would think when there was a guy running for president who they have now proven because his laptops, they finally agreed. Yes, they are. We all knew they were. But you, any of y'all that watch MSNBC or CNN or any of the popular news channels, the mainstream media, you all got lied to and you chose by default to believe it because this whole liberal left has gotten to be the biggest group of haters on the planet. And so people out of fear don't want to ruffle their feathers. And so they, they will just go ahead and go along with the lie. Well, now all of a sudden they're finding out all this stuff is true. And they're finding out that actually Hunter Biden and what he's doing and old Joe Biden, his daddy and old uncle and all of them, they found out that they were sold a bill of goods. And now look at the result of it. The U.S. is stand in the world today. So folks, find out the real news. There are sources out there of it. I'm not even going to tell you what I look at. But go out there, double check all that stuff. Folks, be informed but just make that a little bitty part of your day because the rest of your day is not going to change for what you need to do today or tomorrow as far as your job, time you spend with your family, or sitting out there on that river with a glass of wine watching my wife trim flowers. God is good. I love this country. So put down your anger. And go out there and embrace the beauty. It's all around you. Appreciate you folks tuning in. We'll see you again next week on the Wild West Crypto Show. Thank you.